Joining us now is uh, K.K. Shelja, Health and Social Welfare Minister of uh, Kerala. Thank you very much, uh, um, very much for joining in, ma'am. Uh, uh, you know, Kerala has sort of been constantly under glare, uh, under limelight especially, earlier for some early cases that we saw, and then later on also for that fantastic job you did as far as contact tracing was concerned. What is it that helped Kerala in tackling this pandemic in a much better way? Actually, we are fighting a war against this pandemic to control it and to tackle it. We started from the beginning. Our preparation started from the beginning. We have some experience with that Nipah case also. At that time, we formed a protocol and also uh, standard operating practices and other guidelines according to WH and also according to the uh, the Ebola protocol etc. And this time also when the uh, virus, novel coronavirus started spreading in Wuhan, China, at that time itself we started our planning because we, have, we are sure that some people will return from Wuhan to Kerala because a lot of Malayali students are studying in Wuhan University and uh, from January itself we started our preparation and planning. On January 24th we formed our state control room. At that time no one came from Wuhan at that time but we planned. We have very good uh, state control cell and also we send the uh, message to each and every district or the 14 district that you should be aware that uh, people may come from Wuhan and you should be aware about this novel coronavirus and you start the preparation. And all the district, uh, district uh, also formed uh, control cells in district headquarters. And we waited. Uh, as we expected, the people came from Wuhan. From January 30th, we, have got, we had got a positive case from Wuhan. We screened all the uh, people who came from Wuhan in airport itself and we got three positive cases. January 30th, one become uh, positive and corona positive. At that time, that patient was in our hospital isolation. And uh, uh, another day, the 2nd of February and 3rd February, we got two other cases also in three districts. They are distributed in three districts. But all were in hospital isolation, so we can manage it. And from them, no other contact cases occur. We tackled that uh, uh, that, uh, that that things in the first stage, and it was a victory. But we found that the coronavirus is spreading from China to other countries, and Italy there is a great spread. And at that time, the, uh, people came to Kerala from Italy also, and we uh, strengthened our airport surveillance and uh, other thing, and also we continued our precautionary measures and. Uh, uh, all the stringent actions we took. But from airport, uh, some people we cannot identify because uh, they didn't reveal the place where are coming back and they went to home. And from one Italy case, there is a culture formed in one district uh, from that one case uh, and uh, several other people got uh, infected from them. But right. at once, the system is ready to trace the conduct of the Italy returned and we trace the contact uh, in a good way right. so that uh, we can get all the uh, contact peoples. Right. That is the, the, that's, that method, the yep. surveillance, the tracing, etc. Yes, yes. One of the things that uh, everybody is saying generally, yes. not just Kerala, that we watched out much more for uh, Asia, East Asia, China and East, East Asian countries and we didn't quite think the West would be so quickly infected. But I must say, uh, if you had to list the states, who, how they've handled this, Kerala is really top of the list right now. And Mr. Pinarai and his daily press conference is a bit like uh, Cuomo of New York. But I, just a, a, a tricky question to ask you. Are you going to extend the lockdown? And number one, one is lockdown within the state and the other is interstate movement. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to open that up after... April the 15th or is this all going to be extended? It's up to central government. 
Honorable Prime Minister in a video conference asked us uh, what is uh, uh, the state's opinion about, lock, about the lockdown. And he also informed us to send our opinion after uh, April 14, what we are uh, uh, liking to do. And we formed an expert committee, our Honorable Chief Minister uh, formed an expert committee with the all experts from all sector of the community, 17 peoples, and they are now discussing about the method, uh, what we have to follow after the uh, withdrawal of the lockdown. We think that we cannot fully uh, come out of the lockdown, but some measures we can uh, we can uh, reduce that uh, stringent instructions. But in some extent, we have right. to have that all the uh, lockdown systems in right, certain uh, certain sector. Right. Right. Thank you so much for speaking Thank with us.